and welcome to the 2022 DTC High School Football Preview Watertown Edition. I'm the coach, Chris Vance, and today I'm joined by Gavin Webster, head coach at Watertown. Coach, how you doing today? I'm doing good, Chris. Let's talk about your staff and the continuity and just how important that is. Uh, got a great staff. I got uh, Josh Hackett, defensive coordinator. Um, and it's going to be hard for me to remember all these years I've been, but Josh has been with us since 2015. If I'm not mistaken on that. Uh, Cody Evans, a longtime assistant for us now, who's uh, actually taking over the uh, offensive coordinator position this year. He's calling plays and, and working with offense, uh, kind of freeing me up a little bit. He's been with me since really 2006. Got some uh, new guys, uh, actually got one new guy on staff, Seth Price, a former player, coaching the quarterbacks. Got D-line uh, D line coach, Michael Welch, been with us uh, probably about four or five years. Clarence Jordan, coaches running backs, helps with the D-line. T.J. Hewitt, uh, receivers coach, coaches secondary. Uh, I got several coaches, which is which is really uh, surprising where we started out here when I started out 17 years ago. So hard to remember everybody. I'm just trying to make sure right. I got everybody. Ben Silcox uh, coaches our offensive line. Uh, Connor Grundy coaches offensive line and does some filming for us. And then Donnie Self, another offensive line coach. I've been able to come to a couple of practices. I really love the efficiency. Y'all seem to get so much done in just a short period of time. What goes into that? I've been doing it for a lot of years, <laughs> and I kind of know what we want to get done. You know, we meet, and uh, we kind of set out a plan. This is what we want to get done. Uh, you know, we've practiced at a, uh, at a high tempo before. We're not necessarily, I say, high tempo. It was like I told you one day when we are out there. It looks like uh, mass confusion out there, but we're getting a lot done. The kids are getting coached. And, you know, they know what we expect of them. We move around at a fast pace and, you know, we're just working the whole time we, uh, we're out there. Seems like every year, Watertown loses so many key players, whether it's a quarterback or a running back or a linebacker, receiver, and yet Watertown still puts out that quality product. It's always competing uh, for the district or the region championship and going deep in the playoffs. How do y'all do that? I mean, I put it up, you know, it's my coaching staff. You know, coaching staff and players do all that. I got a great coaching staff. And like I said, we, we, don't, have a, we don't have very little turnover as far as coaching-wise goes. So when you got that consistency, the players know what they're getting. Uh, Coaching-wise, we're not having to change. You know, we got this new guy coming in. We got to teach him how we do stuff. You know, when you got a coaching staff that's been together, you know, this, this bunch has been together for at least five years since – my math may be wrong, 27 years, 2015, uh, you know, you got some good continuity right there. You got a lot of consistency. Uh, players, you know, uh, our kids, they know what we expect. You know, we, we expect them to work hard and, you know, and, and they know they got to work hard to keep competing. You know, we've been, we've been fortunate to, uh, to have some good athletes which helps out at any football program, you know. Uh, but, you know, our kids don't mind working hard and they come out every day with a mindset, you know, uh, this is what we want to accomplish. You know, they listen and they work hard. And I think that's the key to our success. Let's meet some of the Watertown players defensively. Who are some of the key players that, that are coming back and then who's maybe one or two that are stepping up to fill some voids? Uh, looking at our, our defensive leader, Noah Clemens, uh, moving from uh, defensive line to linebacker, Noah is a four-year starter for us. He started, uh, actually started center for us about the second game his freshman year. Didn't play much defense in, but played all offense. And then from then on, from his sophomore junior year, he's a two-way player. Noah doesn't come off the field a whole lot. So he's a specimen. He Noah's a special kid. He's a special player, you know. Uh, got KK West, who's uh, been with us. He's a junior. Been with us since his second year with us. Uh, KK's taking over quarterback duties plus playing free safety. Uh, you know, we look for big things for him. Uh, D, another defensive lineman, Ryan Rodriguez. Uh, Ryan is a junior, uh, two-year starter. Didn't play much defense last year, but is now. So he's playing both sides of the ball. Another guy, DeAndre Wright, uh, senior. He's gonna be anchoring the defensive line also, probably some at some uh, kind of like a, a stand-up end or some outside linebacker right there. And then uh, 
you know, another kid, Kwame C. You'll see Kwame a whole lot. Kwame's playing that other linebacker, inside linebacker beside of Noah um, Jr. Also going to be running back this year. So he's a two-way player. So, you know, uh, we've got several players. You know, those are just a few that kind of, you know, that are that are kind of stand out. But we've got a lot of other role players. And, you know, we just we work well together. You mentioned KK. Talk about your quarterback just a little bit. Uh, KK is going to be the starting quarterback this year. Uh, he is really improving. You know, we've been fortunate since I've been here to have, uh, you know, pretty good quarterbacks. You know, really yeah, since I since I've been here, we we've been very blessed and very fortunate. You know, and you know, KK's come in and he played a little quarterback as a freshman. Uh, he transferred in and uh, worked with him a little bit last year. Of course, he was behind Cousineau. Uh He's really had a really had a good fall. He's improving every day, and you know he he takes command of the offense. You know we may not be throwing it 20, 30 times a game, but he's very efficient in the run game. Takes charge of the offense, and you know he's got some he's got some things he does well. Offensively, who are some of those key seniors that are going to come back and, and play vital roles for a successful offense? Uh, again, throw his name out there, Noah Clemens. He's anchoring the offensive line at tackle. Uh, got Creighton Key. Another senior that started last year uh, at tackle, so he's back with us. Uh, Ryan Rodriguez, anchor in the offensive line, uh, started at guard last year. He'll be at guard this time. Um, some key guys, like, like I said, uh, Kwame C, running back. Uh, Receiver-wise, and I'm just trying to go through the list right here, you know, receiver guys, we got about four guys that's probably gonna get some ample playing time. Uh, you got Brett Price, uh, junior, Trent Spradlin, senior, Marcus Reynolds, uh, sophomore, and Logan Farless, senior, and we'll throw Ethan, Key, uh, Ethan Owen in there, who's a sophomore also. So those, those five guys are, are gonna get a lot of reps there in two spots. So, um, you know, and you noticed in practice the other day, we're playing with a, with a tight end wing a lot. and Two tight ends, uh, uh, Chase McConnell and Zach Self, get both splitting some time and our wings, DeAndre Wright and uh, Garner Cresswell. Your 22 schedule, and it, it, it's been that way. I mean, it's just, I, I don't know if somebody doesn't like you. Uh, if you've got an AD that puts it together, if you do this yourself, if you do, then you're a glutton for punishment. Yeah. But talk about this schedule, and it's just impressive with the amount of really good football teams that, that is on that schedule. Well, this goes back to we were in the old region with Friendship, Trousdale, and uh, Gornsville, you know, that was a juggernaut back in the day when we was over at old school. And, you know, we were always the schedule, you know, you had your, your Red Borlands, your Pickets, your Clays, your Jackson County, stuff like that. And, you know, we were seemed to always, uh, you know, we were getting five and six wins before we run into that, you know, those four teams. And somehow we always had those four teams back to back. And getting bounced in the first round of playoffs. So, you know, we uh, we evaluated and started looking and it's like, we're not getting any better playing teams we know we can win. We got to get ourselves prepared for the postseason. And uh, so that's kind of the route I went. So we, we want to play good competition. We want to, we want our kids to step up, you know, and, and the way I kind of look at it, you know, we started out 0-2 last year. Uh, rattled off several wins, wound up winning the region, and made it back to the quarterfinals for the fourth year, So, which is great. So to me, we're just trying to get our kids ready. Uh, I like a challenge, our kids like a challenge. Is it tough? Yeah, it's tough. A lot of people call me crazy, coaching staff, you know. Uh, uh, but, you know, it, they all agree. We need to play competition. It's only going to make us better. What is Watertown going to have to do this year to continue that success? If you all are winning ball games and stringing those Ws together, what is it that y'all are doing well? Uh, I believe we're going to have to offensively control the clock. Um, you know, and, it, and it's hard to tell. You ask me that right now. It's hard to tell without without having a couple scrimmages under your belt because I really don't know what we've got and what we can do. But if I was to have to play a game tomorrow without playing a scrimmage, I would say, you know, we've got to control the clock, you know, protect the football, control the clock. And defensively, you know, we got to tackle. You know, got to get lined up and, and got to tackle and just play hard. You know, they, those are all simple. I know they're very generic answers, but me, that's what we got to do.
Well, Coach, we certainly appreciate the time that you've given us today. Can't wait to watch y'all. I think we've got three games with y'all, one right here at Robinson Stadium. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate y'all joining us. Catch us next time on the DTC High School Football Preview.